Welcome to day four in this 10 day lead guitar challenge. And I really wanna know how this has been going for you so far. So leave a message for me in the comments below and I'll be sure to check this out because I love hearing how you guys are getting on with this kind of thing. In this video, we're gonna be checking out how to play the G major scale and a super fantastic lead line by the Stone Roses and it's the lead line from Sally Cinemam. Now, um, I'm not sure how much people all over the world are aware of the Stone Roses, but they're a huge band in England. They're from Manchester and they have so many songs that have simple, fantastic melodies played on the electric guitar. Highly re recommend you check out some Stone Roses songs if this whole course has been something that you've enjoyed. But as I say, we're gonna be looking at the G major scale and then playing this riff using the G major scale. So what do I mean by this? Well, the key of this song is in the key of G and the main other chord in this song is a C, which I'm just gonna play as a basic C add nine. So G to C major or C add nine like this. The open G string, the third string, string three, is the first note of this riff and also of the G major scale. The scale puts things in essentially alphabetical order, but the musical alphabet. And we do wanna learn that musical alphabet as well as learning the riffs and lead lines. And we want to think about this as the scale being our ABC, ABCDEFG, and riffs and lead lines being words, phrases, sentences. This is how we learn to make our guitar or our instrument talk. This is how we make it talk and how we make it sing. So let's just look at that scale first of all, and we're just gonna look at five notes from it. So we're gonna pick open string three, then put our middle finger at the second fret, also on string three. So open, second fret. We're then going to go open, first fret, third fret on string two. So pick the open string, first fret, and third fret. In total, that gives us one, two, three, four, five. In many parts of the world, this is commonly known or sang as do, re, mi, fa, sol. And that sound is really important. We want that major scale sound because then it enables us to play and get our heads around simple, awesome riffs like Sally Cinnamon, which goes like this. That lead line uses the same start note, string three. It then goes to the highest note, comes down the same set of notes that we learnt in the scale, and then just walks about within those notes. Which is exactly what good riffs and melodies do. And that's such an important thing to get because throughout this series and throughout all my lessons, I never try and just teach a technique or a scale or something useful in isolation. Let's apply it to real music and make it have far reaching consequences way beyond just learning one riff or one song. That's always my aim. And I really just want to communicate that point that this is a melody as well as a lead line or as well as a riff. That melody again is the open third string to the highest note we played before, which is a D note at fret three of string two, played by the third finger. Fingers on this angle with the thumb over the top, again, is a really good idea. First finger, open, then we go between those two notes. One, two, three, and I'm finishing on the middle finger, second fret of string three.
Now, because this one is a little bit quicker than other things that we've gone for so far, we really want to be doing a balance between practicing that scale and then practicing the riff. Because to get faster, you need to be able to play the notes in order before we start mixing them up a bit. I mean, it, it makes sense when you think about it, but a lot of people just don't see the benefit of learning scales because it's really boring or they don't see how it applies to learning real music. Here I'm showing you how it applies and we need to be able to get consistent, even notes between that one, two, three, four, five, going up and coming down to really get the most from this video and this lesson in general. So make sure you practice those both evenly. Again, it is not essential that this series is followed on subsequent days. You can take a few days to practice anything from this course, take as long as you need. As long as there's not too long between each day, like weeks and weeks, the benefits will still be compounded. You go at your own pace. Do what feels right to you. Once you've got those notes under your fingers, you can then join in with me uh, to the looper pedal. And all I'm gonna do is put a simple loop uh, between the G and the C. And I'm actually gonna play the G like this because I just think it, it sounds better, to be honest, um, for these songs where we're using quite a bit of overdrive on our sound. Having the first finger down makes it sound a bit messy. That note, that major third sounds a bit messy. So I'm gonna do this to this. actually just moving the middle finger, just make sure that the string underneath where your middle finger is, isn't ringing out. Which is shown on the diagram with that little cross. So let's have a play along with this now. 50% tempo and get ready, picking that open third string. I'll count you in, join in with me in one, two, three, four. Practice along to that as much as you need, and when you're comfortable with that, let's go for this uh, BPM, which is gonna be 75% of the original tempo. It's the same two chords. Get ready and join in with me from picking that open third string in one, two, three, four. Sally Cinnamon by the Stone Roses. That is your song to practice for this day four of this 10 day lead guitar kind of challenge. And uh, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Give this video a like on YouTube if you dig this kind of thing. Um, and I will see you when you're ready for day five. I'll see you there.